Alaska fishing license and now we're getting gas real fast and then we're gonna head up the two hour drive to the Russian River where we're gonna meet my good friend Grace. There have been a ton of bear sightings on the Russian River and I'm really hoping that we'll see one because we'll be in a boat and I'll feel really safe. <laughs> Hello. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Gonna put the world away for a minute. Pretend I don't live in it. Sunshine gonna wash my blues away. Had sweet love but lost it. She got too close so I fought it. Now I'm lost in the world trying to find me a better way. Wishing I was knee deep in the water somewhere. Got the blue sky breeze going with the wind. We are here. which is actually, I checked the forecast yesterday, the sun is strongest at 5 p.m. We're just doing a little quick day trip. Hey! This is cool. Grace, what does floating mean? What do we do? It means, see the boat doesn't have an engine or a motor on the back of it, so you use the current of the river and you float oh. on it. The power of the river takes you down. Oh. And then you can pick it up and you can do Welcome to Madden Grace's uh, <laughs> river float. Please keep all uh, hands, legs, feet, gills. <laughs> Don't forget to find a beverage. <laughs> we'll be on our way. The whole point of this is beverages. We'll see if there's any fish. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Wrote a note, send it back in a minute. Bought a boat and I sailed off in it Don't think anybody's gonna miss me anyway Mine on a permanent vacation The ocean is my only medication Wishing my condition ain't ever gonna go away Wishing I was knee deep in the water somewhere Got the blue sky breeze blowing Speaker dies, I always have a speaker here. Why are you playing music? It's a wonderful for the too. bears. Yeah, this is a hot bear spot. This is a very hot bear spot. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Whoa, bear. Whoa, bear. <laughs> hey, guys. Right, though, they do usually come here. They Ooh. won't come until we catch a fish. They won't come until we catch a fish. Didn't um, some bears take your fish? Yeah. How did you, did you just have to like run away or what? What'd you do? We, we were fishing right here, literally right here. We had the three fish we had caught in the water just to keep them cold and keep them out of the way. Mm -hmm. And a bear, we saw him hanging out in the woods back there and we were like, okay, no big deal. Saw him in the woods hanging out and then kind of slowly made his way up the beach. And then he just like trotted into the water, <laughs> grabbed one of the fish and because they're on a stringer, they're all tied together. Oh my God. So he grabbed one and it just trailed, the other two trailed behind him and he ran off with the stringer with the fish. The stupid <laughs> fish. <laughs> really, it's so unfair, they're right here in front of me. You can see them? Oh! Get him! Oh! Get him! Oh! 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 They're, oh! they're so shallow. That's so cool. Oh! Dude, they're all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna go catch the fish. A few minutes later. Wow! Yeah. This is a red salmon or a sockeye salmon, and we went on August 22nd, which was pretty late into their season. So keep note of Grace saying that it's really dark red. I'll show you why later. During this trip, the ideal salmon to catch would be a silver salmon. He has like teeth. Yeah, they're weird. Oh god. That is so interesting. It's like a shark fish. I'm sorry. Here, I'll hold him. Whoa. 
Now Shall you're every run? Tinder Bumble guy. <laughs> <laughs> Casting it kind of in front of him a little. Yeah. And letting it drift down. Yeah. You, the fish are all swimming this way, so you want the you want your uh. line to drift into their mouth, and then you hook them coming this way, and you bring them towards shore. Okay. So you you got to kind of let your line float in front of you. So your line wants to sit pretty flat on the water and sink. You don't want to be you know it's not like fishing like this where it's bobbing up and down. Yeah. It's like flat on the water. So the tip of his pole is almost in the water in front of him. It's like you're actually pointing down. <laughs> what just happened? Uh, we caught it on the side. We didn't catch it in the mouth. It's a snag. We got to release it. Let me grab my pliers. With fish literally feet away from us, it's actually quite easy to accidentally snag a fish. The challenge is to get the hook right into the fish's mouth and then pull it up to shore. It seems kind of impossible to an inexperienced fisher like me, but not to these guys who showed up. We got a bear. Yeah. <laughs> There's two. Oh god. Thanks. Oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> you know, I feel like only in Alaska can you find a girl rationalizing that the bears a dozen feet away from you won't bother you because they're just fishing too. Shout out to Grace. On the other hand, there is me. Holy sh! That's so scary. They're just like standing up in the water. Jesus. Might be a carcass, I threw her out. Holy <laughs> It's just gonna be me being like, holy <laughs> They're huge! I think this is representative of living in Alaska. You can never quite expect what nature will bring. You have to be aware of your surroundings because you can die out here. Hey Matt, we're getting a little close. Oh God. Well, enjoy it. They actually took like the best silver salmon spot, so we had to move, but it was really cool because we saw bears and we didn't die. Bye bears! Also with wildlife, you kind of have to communicate with your neighbor. So the lady looking on from the other side of the river There's a sow. pointed out the sow trailing behind them. What's that Thank mean? you! Yeah, thanks. Okay. She's not far. What's a sow? The mom. Oh, so these are baby bears? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, how many fish we get? One. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. There's a mom. Yeah. There's a mom. Oh, there's a oh my gosh. Wow. I'm like sh shook. <laughs> the funny part is those, those bears have been there for m months. I'm really? Not, I'm not scared of They're them smart. Anymore. Damn, yeah, I could tell. You're like, they're, they're just chilling. And I'm like, no, let's <laughs> go. <laughs> that was really cool about it, though. <laughs> they just, like, stand up in the water. Like, it's, like, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's watching them. I'm still shook. <laughs> that was so cool. I knew it. As soon as people started gathering, yeah. bears are here. The bears. <laughs> So we floated down the river for a little bit and decided to stop at this next little bend. On the way we got a little swept up by the currents. Matt, that story. Hercules! 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 <laughs> nice job! Yeah! Good save. Oh, I see fish! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hercules! Okay. Oh, you got those feet
We are at our next fishing spot. Do you see all those red things? They are fish. Salmon. Um, hold the wire down like that. So pull it and let it go like that. Look like you're reeling in. What time is it? It's fishing time. <laughs> Loser. It's uh, eight o'clock. Oh, this is what it looks like. Eight o'clock. Yeah, there you go. You're reeling it in. Uh, Whoa, there. You snagged another one. Nice. <laughs> I wanted some uh, leaves. After we left our first spot because of the bears, we didn't really catch any more or even see any more silver salmon. And remember when I said to keep note of Grace saying that the sockeye salmon that we caught was really red? During late August, sockeye salmon are spawning. So they're swimming upriver using all of their energy and they lose pigment in their meat and then they die. We did a lot of catch and release with the sockeye salmon and we ended up keeping only one because at this point in the season, the sockeye is only really good for smoking. So Grace is gonna show the difference between the sockeye and the silver salmon. This fish is spawning. It's going upriver to spawn. So it's a lot lighter. It's been alive for longer. The meat is just older. It's yeah. using all its muscle and energy <laughs> to swim up river. Where's this meat? Pretend like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this meat is fresher. <laughs> <laughs> Line! <laughs> this fish, fish is fresher, probably younger. I don't know, Google it. <laughs> okay, can you work anymore?
Okay, it is now. It's 10.28. 10.28, we are done. We're eating um, some food that we packed. <laughs> Shout out to Mama Chong. Mm. And we're getting ready for the drive back. How long is the drive back? Two hours. Yeah, we were just saying how like we're so sad that it's dark now because we're just not used to it. It happened really fast. Apparently we lose like eight minutes of daylight a day until winter solstice. And then it's back to summer. <laughs> that was fun. Shout out to Grace. Thanks, Grace. Follow Grace. Message her. Bother her and ask her a lot of uh, last questions. She's your girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Please do not message us about random things that you can Google. Alaska Friends is a new series that I'm starting with my friends here to show you all what living in Alaska is really like and to tell the stories of Alaskans. If you're an Alaskan and you have your own Alaska story that you want to be told, email me at travelwith@alaskafriends.com and we'll come tell your story. Thanks everyone.